What's happening guys, it's Shane here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about different careers for introverts. All right, so these are gonna be different careers at every single education level, all the way from having no education up to a doctorate. And these are careers that data has shown that introverts do tend to go into. They tend to enjoy these careers. Now, one thing I do want to mention is, you know, if you're an introvert, you can go into any career don't let that hold you back. But with that being said, this list is at least going to give you some ideas for careers that you can look into. Okay. Now with that being said, if you want an all-in-one solution to your college problems, getting the most out of college with the least amount of money, effort, and time, figuring out what your dream degree is, check out my College 101 course down in the description below. We've been getting some insane results. It has been doing ridiculously well. I am still offering a small discount down in the uh, description below. You can check that out with the coupon code and that will likely be the lowest that the price is ever going to be. But with that being said, let's jump right into it right after you gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. All right, so first one on the list, number one is going to require pretty much no education or very, very little, and that is going to be a truck driver, right? So depending on the state you live in and what regulations they have, you can actually become a truck driver generally with just a few months of training. And truck drivers do make a very good income. So one thing that you'll notice is a lot of the time people who immigrate to the United States, if they don't have like a degree right off the bat, they'll end up getting a truck driving job just because it's kind of one of those careers where the bar to get into it is not very high. You can get into it with just a few months if you don't have much money and you can make very, very good money. Now, in terms of how much you make, that varies greatly depending on what type of truck driving you do, but there are truck drivers out there that own their own rigs that pull in well over $200,000 a year probably won't make that much starting out, but there's a very good chance that you could make somewhere between 50 to $100,000 right off the bat. Now, obviously this is a career that's going to apply to introverted people because you are gonna be spending long periods of time where you're driving alone on the road. And when you do interact with people, it's usually only going to be like one-on-one -on -one or a very small group. So a lot of introverts, including myself, uh, we have no issues talking with people one-on-one, -on -one, but it can get a little bit energy draining uh, when you're you know, with a bunch of different people. So the times that you would talk to people would include you know, talking to other truckers over the radio, uh, helping to offload the load that you are uh, transporting. So talking to people at a warehouse, for instance. And another added benefit is you would get to travel across the country and see a bunch of different places. So that's pretty cool as well. Now, a lot of people talk about uh, truckers uh, being automated within the next 10 years. I absolutely do not buy that at all. They said the same thing about bank tellers. They were going to be automated because of ATMs. That obviously didn't happen. It just changed what their job description was. So a lot of the time with automation, um, it, it takes away certain jobs it makes processes more efficient but more jobs actually pop up right so it solves certain problems but then new problems pop up that are less bad but just as important when it comes to having somebody there to do the job so if anything the creation of ATMs actually made bank service even better same thing with the airline industry for the most part planes almost fly themselves these days they're pretty much on autopilot most of the time but there are still two pilots in the cockpit right so at least in the foreseeable future it's going to be the same thing with trucking in my opinion I don't think a ton of truckers are going to lose their jobs just right off the bat like so many people think is going to happen in the next like five or ten years that's just not going to happen if technology really does advance quickly if anything they might be phased out over the next 40 years but only time will tell and we'll have to see what happens next one on the list we are going to go to the other side of the spectrum right all the way to a doctorate level degree and we're gonna talk about psychiatrists. So a psychiatrist is a medical doctor, right? So they have an MD uh, that includes extensive schooling as well as on the job training. So usually that's gonna be about eight years of school total, four years of undergrad, four years of medical school, and then a residency that is going to last probably around five years or so. So according to BLS, medical doctors make around over $208,000 a year. Uh, that is definitely on the lower side. They likely make much more than that. And the job growth rate is about 16% over the next 10 years, which is much higher than average. So you might think, oh man, you're an introvert. 
you probably don't want to be talking to people all day about their problems, which is what people think psychiatrists do. But again, most of the time you're going to be talking to people one on one or in a very small group setting, maybe one psychiatrist and two people at the same time. And that's something that most introverts are actually comfortable with. Nice. And really, there's almost no jobs out there where you're never going to have human interaction. Uh, but some of them do minimize it or make it manageable uh, more than others. Next one on the list is going to be IT manager. That's going to be information technology manager. They make around $146,000 a year. They're expected to grow about 11% over the next 10 years. Generally, IT managers are gonna have like a four year degree and then some training. Although in the technology industry, there's almost always like loopholes and ways that you can speed things up. So you don't necessarily always have to get a degree. So you're gonna see some IT managers that have like a master's degree and other IT managers that just have a certification. But yeah, another really good one, uh, obviously most of the day or a lot of the day you're going to be dealing with technology itself making sure a company's technology uh, needs are taken care of when you do talk with people it's usually going to be one-on-one -on -one, a lot of the time over the phone for instance so it's not going to drain your energy too much next one on the list is going to be engineer and there's so many different types of engineering degrees out there and engineering careers out there that it's hard to say exactly how much they make it's a very, very wide range, but generally speaking, engineers make good money. We're gonna talk about you know at least 80,000 plus per year. And on top of that, very flexible career. You can work in so many different industries for so many different companies, and it's expected to grow about 5% over the next 10 years, which is good. So yeah, engineer, very heavy in problem solving, especially practical problem solving. A lot of intellectual work, mathematics. Sometimes you're actually gonna be working with your hands on different projects. Some careers, are going to have more communication than others but a lot of the communication is going to be relatively technical so introverts definitely tend to be drawn to engineering next one on the list is going to be architect generally speaking architects work with at least a master's level degree they do make eighty thousand dollars a year plus and it's growing at eight percent over the next 10 years similar to engineering architects are kind of like a jack of all trades uh, if you think about it architecture is almost like a combination of like art engineering and then practical problem solving as well. So they really do have to be good at a lot of different things, but they're gonna be spending many, many hours just staring at a piece of paper making the blueprints. Next one on the list is going to be a technical writer. They are generally going to have a bachelor's degree. They also make around $72,000 a year and they're growing faster than average over the next 10 years, around seven, eight percent. So technical writers basically are able to communicate in a written form complex information. So these would be the people who would help to write how-to guides, instruction manuals, etc. Again, a lot of time spent on your own when you are communicating with other people who would likely be one-on-one -on -one or in a very small group setting. So it's no surprise that introverts are attracted to this career. Next on the list is going to be an accountant and another one that's generally a four-year bachelor level degree. They make around $73,000 a year and they are growing over the next 10 years at about four or 5%. Another career that was supposed to be automated when all this technology came out but it seems like the technology just created more jobs if anything now one thing about accounting that's uh, different than some of the other ones on this list is there's I believe 1.3 1.4 million accountants in the United States and so when you see careers like that where there's a ton of people you're gonna know automatically that there's gonna be a bunch of different career types, right? So subtypes of the career. And so the great thing about becoming an accountant is if you don't like whatever career you go into, let's say you become a tax accountant for small businesses and you don't like it for whatever reason, there are so many other sub careers that you could pivot into, right? So if you go into accounting and you discover you're an introvert and you want an even more introverted job, you are going to be able to pretty easily change your career over into that other type of job. So not only do accountants in general tend to be a little bit more introverted, but there's gonna be a lot more flexibility in terms of what jobs you can go for. Next one on the list is going to be scientists. This is an extremely broad category. Uh, there are different types of scientists. For some careers, you would only need like maybe a bachelor's degree. For other careers, you'd have to go all the way up to a PhD. But generally speaking, scientists are making around $68,000 a year, and this is a career that is growing faster than average. Next one on the list is going to be librarian. I think this one's pretty obvious. You're gonna be spending a lot of time you know, reading books, categorizing books. The communication that you do have to do usually is going to be in small settings and one-on-one. -on -one. 
one, but they make around $58,000 a year and it's growing at around 6% over the next 10 years. Next one on the list is going to be a paralegal or legal assistant. This is one of those careers where you're basically assisting lawyers and you're doing a lot of the technical work. So you're gonna be looking stuff up, you're gonna be doing a lot of paperwork. They make around $52,000 a year, generally only need an associate's degree. And it's growing at 10%, which is much faster than average. And the last one on the list we're gonna talk about is going to be an artist. Now there is so many different types of artists and this could range from zero education, um, a lot of the time art is going to be somewhat entrepreneurial. So starting your own thing, your own side gig or your own business, a lot of the time when, it, when you're an artist is the way to go. But there are some types of artists, for instance, like you know, if you're a classical guitarist, sometimes getting that formal training, going to school is going to pay off, right? So this would range from no education at all, all the way up to like a PhD. But artists generally are gonna make around $48,000 a year on average. And the demand for artists is said to go up around 3% over the next 10 years, which is a little bit lower than average. But one thing I will say about art is you know we're moving towards a world where a lot of the time you know practical skills are things that aren't really needed as much in some ways like a lot of practical things are being automated now i did say earlier that a lot of the time when you automate things other you know careers pop up but a lot of the times these other careers are things that have more to do with like soft skills, right? So bank tellers, for instance, they went from like counting money all the time, doing all that sort of thing, and then all of that got automated, and now primarily their main job is customer service, right? Talking with people, uh, going one-on-one -on -one with people, and making sure that the customers are happy. And so a skill like art is something that is never going to be automated, much in the same way that soft skills, like communication, salesmanship, uh, being able to give a speech, something like that, will likely never be automated as well, right? So there is something to be said about learning skills like art. Uh, you know, creating YouTube videos is somewhat artistic, right? And there are a lot of careers out there like YouTube, for instance, that might not have even existed when you were born. So I am somewhat bullish on the profession of being an artist. I think that the route that most people take is the wrong route. I think that people like try to go to school to learn how to do art, like get, get a bachelor's degree. And with most types of art, I think that's the wrong move to make. You would learn much more if you just practiced whatever art that is on your own for four years, especially if you move to a city where there's a lot of other people who are doing the same type of art, or if you got into a group where there's a lot of people who are interested in the same type of art that you're doing. But yeah, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.